Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden Fire Stick menu that could be very useful if your device is running slow and you're not really sure what's going on or how to fix it. I'm going to show you how to access this developer tools menu using a remote shortcut. And guys, I am using a second generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but this will work on any newer version of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. So let's dive in. All right, so to access this hidden Fire Stick menu, what we need to do on our Fire Stick remote is hit the down button and also the OK button at the same time. Hold those down for about two to three seconds. And once you do that, what you need to do is hit this options button with the three lines on your remote. And then once you hit that, you should see the developer tools menu appear. You may have to do this more than once like I had to when I first did it, but just do it a few times, guys, again, down button and OK button for about two to three seconds. Hold these down at the same time. Then click the options button with the three lines right here on your remote. And then you should see the developer tools menu appear. So now let's head over to my Fire Stick Max and I'm going to explain what this developer tools menu all means. All right, so as I come back to my Fire Stick 4K Max, you should see the developer tools menu just like mine on this video. So what I'm going to do first is turn on the system x-ray. Now you'll see on the right, Amazon explains the system x-ray is basically a display system that provides some general information at the top of your screen. Now, if you do want to turn this off, all you need to do is come back and click off and you can toggle it as I wouldn't recommend keeping this on full time as it can get annoying as you're trying to do things on your fire stick. So just briefly explaining the system x-ray here on the top left, the first thing you see is 1080p. That is just the display. So I am not on a 4K television. My television only displays in 1080p. But if you were using a 4K television, obviously the Fire Stick 4K Max is compatible with 4K resolution. So it would be 4K if you have a 4K TV. The next thing here is 59.93. That is simply just frames per second. And then you'll see MEM, that stands for memory. So you'll see app, other, and available. So according to the system x-ray, I have 403 megabits of available memory. Now, I don't know if that's great, to be honest with you guys. There's probably some things I can do to improve that memory and help speed my fire stick up a little bit. So I'm going to dive into that quickly after I go through the developer tools menu. Just something I want to point out. And then NET stands for network. So after doing some research on this before making this video, this network extension essentially shows just how strong your Wi-Fi signal is on your Fire Stick. So the big thing to point out here is this RSSI graph. Now, RSSI stands for Receive Signal Strength Indicator. And what I learned is that anything on this graph that shows red, like mine is right now, that means my Wi-Fi signal on my Fire Stick is actually weak. Now, Amazon's developer page says green is good and orange is average. So take a look at this RSSI graph when you guys have a chance and then see if yours is green, red, or orange, and that will tell you how strong your Wi-Fi signal is. So once I've gone through the system x-ray, I'm just going to turn this off. So advanced options, you can turn this on if you want. Um, it just says on the right here, this enables multimedia information to be displayed when Android Media Codec APIs are in use. I would just leave this off, guys. It's a little sophisticated for just general use of a Fire Stick. You can launch the configuration panel if you want. And then within the configuration panel, there's all these different options you can choose from in here. I'm just going to leave that off for now. Record and share, you can turn this on if you want for record settings. I'm just gonna leave that off. Safe zone, so you can turn the safe zone on if you want. I'm just gonna leave that off as well. And here's something really cool about this hidden fire stick menu is that you can actually toggle developer options from this developer tools menu. Instead of going in to the Fire TV settings, clicking about seven times, and then accessing developer options that way. I have several videos that show how to do that, but this is a really quick way to toggle on and off developer options. And if you do that, you'll see there's other options here for developer row, clear recommendations, um, but I'm just gonna leave this off for now as developer options already is turned on for my Fire Stick. Network proxy, you can do things with this. Clear credential storage, launch network advisor. Just some settings that I don't think personally are worth messing with, guys. 
Um, the big ones here are the system x-ray, so you can see an overview of what's going on with your Fire Stick performance, and then also developer options. Those are the big two important things out of this developer tools menu. So now that I know what's going on with my Fire Stick performance, if I want to get out of this developer tools menu, all I need to do is hit the back button on my remote. And now it's gone. You'll see I don't even have it anywhere. I don't have the x-ray up. I don't want anything up right now. So based on seeing how my Wi-Fi connection was and how little memory I had on my Fire Stick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over Find, click Search, and I'm going to type in background as there's an application I wanna show you inside the Amazon App Store that can help speed up my Fire Stick and make it perform better. So right here, background apps and process list. So once you see this background apps and process list, I'm going to click that and this should take me to the installation page. So once I see this, I'm gonna click get and then you're gonna to have to wait a few seconds while the background apps and process list application is installing on your Fire Stick. All right, after the application has installed, I'm gonna click the home button on my remote, and then I'm just gonna scroll down and it should be right here under recently used apps. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then once I launch into the application, you're going to get a menu here that says, please choose whether you want background apps and process list to open on device boot. So what this means guys, if I check this, I can just have this application automatically perform its processes right when I boot up my Fire Stick. I'm gonna actually leave this off as I only wanna do this you know, when I go into the application on my own. I don't want it automatically doing things. And then once you do that, click got it. And right here on the main screen, it shows me what version I have. And then it also shows me which applications are open in the background. Now, if you have more apps open than I do, your screen will obviously be a lot bigger here filled with more apps. So what you need to do here to close the applications running in the background is you need to come down and select both of these or how many apps are down here in this list. So I'm going to select Netflix and Surfshark and you'll see both of these are highlighted. And if I do that, you should see an option here that says close selected apps. I'm gonna click that. And then it's going to take me back to the screen and guys, just for you know second measures here, I'm gonna click for stop for Surfshark for stop for Netflix. And then if I do that and come back, you'll see as I'm on the main screen of the background apps and process list that Surfshark and Netflix are no longer there. So now I know that these apps are closed in the background. And guys, this should just help speed up your Fire Stick and make it run a little better when all the applications running in the background are closed. So that's it guys, that's how you access this hidden Fire Stick menu which is called the Developer Tools menu through a simple remote shortcut. Again, this is Bodhi with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, like this video, let me know what you guys think, and I hope you all have a great day.